Hi, I am uh, Romil Kapadia. I am the product owner of the test data management team and the test environments team from Abin Amro. Abin Amro, of course, I hope most of you are its customers, but uh, <laughs> if not, then maybe in future there is a way together. Uh, but there is also an interesting thing which I want to speak to you about is the anonymization uh, within ABN Ambro, how we are doing it, and of course the experience together with Ted Prof. Uh, there is also something interesting which the Dutch Data Protection Authority said uh, a few days ago. I hope you are aware of such a unit. But he said that uh, they said that every resident in Netherlands is affected by a data leak in some way or the other. So that is something alarming for uh, all of us, but also not surprising considering the number of uh, cyber attacks and data leaks happening all around the world. Uh, but which also means that we need our IT systems to be more secure, resilient, and uh, of course, uh, the network security will be uh, the ownership of somebody else. But the teams which are developing the end products, uh, they need an anonymized data to test with, which is, of course, production like at the end. So um, I'm going to go through uh, some of it. Uh, the two teams which I am part of are both platform teams within uh, Abin Amro. We are responsible of, for providing an available and stable test environments, which is also secure at the end of the day, towards the developers and the testers, but also providing the right test data uh, towards the teams with which they can test. Um, uh, but before that, uh, just to give you a glimpse of how the ABN AMRO landscape is with respect to the different verticals and the data landscape uh, overall. So we have the main Netherlands bank and there are three different units for it, but we also operate in uh, Northwestern uh, European region. So Germany, UK, Belgium, and a couple of other uh, sister companies are also there. And of course the platforms underlying uh, for their applications are either on mainframe or an on-premise uh, cloud, which Abin Amro owns, and also on public cloud, which in this case is Azure. Uh, important thing to know over here is that uh, over the years, Abin Amro as a bank and the subsidiaries might have the same applications doing the same things, but for they are in different vertical or in different subsidiary, then uh, everything would have been redundant. So over the years, there have been different programs which are ongoing uh, to bring the subsidiaries and the main bank together. So at the end, it's more united in a way. Uh, but also at the same time, there are multiple uh, IT programs running within the bank, uh, such as the cloud program to bring the applications to Azure, but also the IT recharge program to make more and more the bank uh, up to speed with the latest which is there in IT in, uh, within the bank and outside the world. So that is something uh, which we are doing. Uh, at the same time, all the data which is there is kind of separate in a way. And we want at the end of the day, uh, everything should be on par with respect to the entire bank. So that is why uh, we stumbled upon uh, DeadProf uh, for anonymization. Uh, for mainframe, we have a, a very good solution, uh, which is AB Namro uh, IP. So that part was OK for us. But for on-premise and Azure, uh, we, we opted for uh, DeadProf. Uh, we, s we went through other, program, other uh, products as well. But what clicked for us with DeadProf was that they were uh, Dutch market leader, I would say. Uh, and also at the same time, their real focus was on test data management. So that kind of separated itself from uh, the other products which we, were, we, which we evaluated overall. Uh, and at the same time, Michael and Gerard, how they kind of collaborated with us in this, uh, in this journey is also kind of uh, appreciated and uh, we, we thank them uh, by our true hearts. Uh, so that is why we uh, pinned down upon uh, Dead Prophet at the end. 
So this is the vision for the test data management within Aben Amro and the entire subsidiaries is that we want to implement the same anonymization policy, which is vertical independent, platform independent, and database independent. So that is in line with the Unity program, which we were talking about just a while ago. Uh, so having this vision ultimately states that at the end, we want to achieve synchronization across all the data platforms which are there within the bank. So uh, we, of course, there are a lot of IT benefits uh, to that. I won't go into <laughs> much more detail in that one. But uh, that is something which we also want to achieve. Uh, the ABN AMRO anonymization policy which we have is uh, quite strong, to be honest. And we have that for uh, quite some years now. So don't be af afraid about any data leaks or so. Uh, but yeah, that is also something which we want to implement together with the debt proof solution which we have. So eventually, at the end, uh, we will have the same thing across every database or every platform in true sense. Uh, by the way, we just started with uh, that prof uh, about four to five months ago, so it is still uh, very new for us. But we have been uh, able to do a couple of pilots with our team, and the response is also pretty strong. And together, what we estimated when we selected that prof is that there is going to be a tremendous po potential for debt prof within the bank in the coming years. So uh, that is something which uh, is in line to what we have uh, estimated. So this is something, a kind of a short summary or kind of a glimpse as to how we want to have debt prof within ABN AMRO. Uh, we talked about the uh, anonymization policy. So what's interesting about that prof privacy module is that it allows you to implement your own anonymization policy together on top of or in spite of what is uh, there in that prof privacy. So that is something uh, is very interesting for us uh, because we can make use of what is latest in the market uh, by that prof privacy but also something which is uh, very uh, provable within the bank. So that is something uh, that pro privacy um, is kind of advantageous to us. Uh, while interacting to many of you before, I think we all have similar hybrid approaches across different companies because there isn't going to be a one-stop solution which will uh, satisfy or cater to everything which is there. So we have also kind of a hybrid approach uh, in this particular case. So with the privacy, we are going to create the masking templates, uh, which is kind of the fields which are to be masked uh, in a particular database or a table, independent of the format, of course. That is something which uh, the uh, which my team will be doing uh, in 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 collaboration with the other 300 plus DevOps teams which we are going to work with uh, for this particular tool. And of course, once the masking template is uh, available, uh, the teams can then run it via that prof runtime, or it can be given via an API towards the team, which can be. Uh, included within their CI/CD pipelines via broker. So the eventual end state will be that uh, once the templates are created, everything is, is automated at the end by the teams themselves. Uh, interesting to also know over here is that, uh, of course, we don't want all production-like data, which is, of course, masked on test environments. We also want to generate fictitious data. So that's why we are using that prof generate, which will also kind of provide fictitious uh, data within the main template. So if I am uh, masking something, but at the same time, I don't want for certain fields, uh, production like uh, anonymized data to be there on the environment, I can use the generate module to provide fictitious data together with it. So that is something which we want to target. Uh, 
another thing about that prof generator is that we want the teams to use the template as much as possible within their pipelines so at the end we don't want them to create a test data file which they want to test but we want them to create a template once once in a life, like uh, once in a year or something and use the same template within their pipelines to uh, to test their new product developments so that is something which also again on the automated front which we are targeting uh, again the api will be available towards uh, the teams to be included within their pipelines and uh, also they can execute it via the datprof runtime module with ci cd that is one of our main focus uh, for this year that we want more and more teams to have the, the APIs included within their CI CD pipeline. So, as much as automation as possible, I think that is the goal uh, all the way around, uh, as I see. Uh, but that is something which we are also kind of uh, uh, going to deal with it. Any questions uh, until now from anyone? Okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay. Uh, but at the same time, as I just said, that uh, it is just four months uh, <laughs> for us with the dead prof. So we are just getting started. But uh, I'm very happy to also know uh, or also to realize that the tool has tremendous potential within the bank in the coming years. And, uh, and that is something which we are going to strive for as well. Yep, since it is four months, so my times are very short for you. <laughs>